Dr. Frump. So hello everyone. My name is India Williams and I'm one of the professional development educators here at PBIS Rewards. And I'm from Evansville, Indiana. That's also currently where I'm living. And that's where our company, PBS Rewards, is located. And right now, you know, we went from having ice storms last week to today. It's almost like um, almost 60 degrees. <laughs> so you never know what you're going to get here in Evansville, Indiana. But what I do know that I'm going to get is I'm going to always get uh, to be with wonderful people like you all when we do these trainings. So glad to see you, Sarah, one of our favorite people that we often get to train with. And then also Kristen, Krista, everyone else that's with us here today. We just want to welcome you and thank you for being here. But another thing I can always guarantee is that I'm going to get to work with another fabulous trainer like my girl, Anna Michaels. Good morning, everybody. We're so happy that y'all are here today. Um, I am joining you from Fort Worth, Texas, and um, it, it's really actually our weather has been very similar to India's. We had um, ice and snow last week, and now we're going to be at 74 degrees today. So, you know, whatever. Um, we'll take it, uh, certainly instead of uh, icy conditions. So um, we're super excited about our topic today about communication with parents um, hopefully we can take some things that maybe other teachers are utilizing, some apps or other platforms that they're utilizing to communicate with families, and then they can just use PPIS rewards. So we're really hoping to help you streamline that process and talk about those features today. So we're so glad y'all are here. We also want to make sure that we just go over briefly our expectations for today's training. Very simply, we're just going to try to keep it respectful, responsible, and safe, many different ways. You know, we love that you know if you have your camera on, Sarah, we'd love to see your beautiful face. So if you can put your camera on, we'd love for you to do that. But if not, we totally understand. And also, you know, if you're not sharing at that time, muting your microphone is very helpful. We also want to make sure that you stay focused on today's training as best as you can. Yet if you do have to leave, we totally understand. We are recording today's session and we will send you a, a link to the recording as well as other resources in a follow-up email if you registered for today's training. Um, yet while you are here with us live, we do want to also just <clears throat> to stay engaged, you know? You want to take notes, that's fine. If you want to use those nonverbal feedback icons, you can. And in fact, there have been some updates. So if you really want to, I mean, you can get to a whole bunch of emojis by clicking on that reactions button. And then there's three dots. You click on those, you now have a whole bunch of emojis you can use to stay active and engaged with today's training. But most importantly, we want to encourage you. Look at Krista. I love it. <laughs> we also want to encourage you all to please, please ask questions. Don't wait until the end. Feel free to put them in the chat. In fact, here with our live audience, with us today, it's kind of intimate. So feel free to just unmute and just ask your questions, but also definitely use that chat throughout today's session to ask any questions that you might have. Once again, like we said, if you wanna call it the discussion board, the parking lot, whatever, put those questions in the chat throughout today's training. And we do wanna just kind of give you an overview of the agenda for today. We are talking about communication because why? We love communication. So we're going to be talking about um, kind of just the impact of communication. What are some of the things that can be barriers? What are some of the keys to successful communication? And how can you involve your community and PBIS rewards in keeping the communication between your staff and your caregivers or parents going strong and going long? We're also going to give you an overview of the parent app as well as how you can utilize the messaging feature within PBIS Rewards to keep that communication going. Finally, we're gonna wrap it up today by giving you some uh, tips and tricks. We're going to talk about ways to get the support you need. We're also going to be talking about uh, giving you a personal invitation to our Facebook user group. In fact, if Sarah's still here, we may have her share a little bit about it with you all. And then also we wanna give you an opportunity to fill out a survey to let us know what are some things we can do better with our next training, as well as maybe some things that you really enjoy about this one. So what we want you to do right now in the chat, for those of you that are with us live, what are some of the keys, okay, when you think about it, to 
children's or students success at school. Put in the chat for us, what are some things that you feel really helps lead to success in the school for kids, okay? Oh, 30 minutes. Yep. Oh, no worries. No worries. We are going to wrap it up. It won't take, we'll be done by about 1030. So no worries. If you do have to leave at 1030, no worries, but we will be done. Safety. Absolutely. Safety is something that leads to success for students, personal connection with them and their families. Absolutely. And what we love is this quote by Jane Hull. She is actually a former uh, Arizona governor. And she says that at the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. Keeping the parents involved, keeping them in the know is probably the most overwhelmingly key to the success of a child uh, with their education and productivity. So as we talk about keys and talk about parent involvement, some of you may actually be familiar with um, Jane Epstein. She actually has written a book called School, Family, and Community Partnerships, and she talks about the six types of involvement uh, that are keys to successful school, family, and community partnerships, okay? So these are the six types of involvement or six keys to that successful partnership. Parenting, communicating, volunteering, learning at home, decision-making, and collaborating with community, okay? And of these six keys, there are many of them that you can do directly with PBIS rewards. They include collaborating with the community, decision-making, volunteering, and communicating. And for today's session, we are really gonna focus in on that second key there, communicating, and how you can use PBIS rewards to keep communication open with your parents and caregivers of the students. So when you think about communication or communicating, the great thing is, is that you can use the PBIS rewards parent app to share important school, and student information, okay? So many schools are now using a whole lot of different apps, kind of like a quilt, putting together different things to make sure that they can help the students. The great thing is you don't need three different apps. You truly can use PBIS Rewards to acknowledge the students with points, to manage different ways for the students to redeem their points, but you can also use it to message back and forth with the parents or caregivers and to keep them in the know of all the wonderful things you're doing with PBIS and PBS Rewards right there from the PBS Rewards app. So this parent app is huge. It's free, it's a whole part of the whole system. And with this app, like we've said before, the staff has a web portal and an app. Students have a web portal and app. But as far as parents and caregivers, there is an app for PBIS Rewards. This app truly does keep the students' uh, families in the know. It's going to give them their point details. It'll show any referrals if that applies for the student in the school. It's going to show purchases that the student has made, upcoming events, registered events, as well as a list of their, their students, teachers, contact information. And then once again, that piece we're really focusing in on today, which is the parent messaging. And so the way that they get access to that, and we're going to go in and show you these pieces live today, but they're going to get access to that app and to their child or children's information by utilizing a QR code that is generated by you or any other person in, this, uh, in the school that is in the PBS Rewards staff um, app and web portal. They can then generate this letter. The letter is gonna have a QR code. The parent is going to use that QR code to scan to be able to give access uh, to their students' information. Uh, also, this information can be emailed, which would have a link in the email that the parents could click to get access to the information in the app. You also can text this information that has a link where the parent would then be able to click on that link and be able to connect with their child or children in the school through that PBS Rewards Parent app. So we're not just going to talk about it. We're actually going to get in today and show you some of these pieces. So as we said, they're gonna need that information, that letter, that QR code, or that link. 
It's very easy to get that for each of the students, family members. You're gonna just have to go first to the staff web portal. And we're gonna go there live to let you see how this all looks. But you go to the staff web portal, PBS Rewards, and then you're gonna go to that main menu and click on parent link, okay? Once you click there, there'll be a screen that opens up and you'll have the option of either clicking on new message if you wanna go ahead and start a message to the family member. But if you wanna generate that letter that's gonna give you that QR code and link, you gotta to go to that manage parents button. Okay, and we're gonna show you all this live in the system. And then we wanna show you that also this messaging can happen from the staff app to the parent app, okay? So if you're in that staff app, you just go to messages, click on parent, click on new. And then if you want to, you could actually um, click on group and then choose who you wanna send that information to, whether it's the entire group or certain um, members or students in the group. You then can go ahead, type up that message. If you wanna send an attachment, you just click on the paperclip and then you press send. So the great thing is utilizing this message feature is so easy, whether you're doing it from the web portal or whether you're doing it on the go from the app. So now, Anna, I think it's time for us to show them maybe even how the admin first can set it up and turn on that messaging. And then we're gonna show you these steps of how you can within the web portal, be able to get that letter that you need with that QR code and link and then also how you can do messaging from the web portal. Okay, let's do that. And if there are any questions while Anna's getting that pulled up, please feel free to put them in the chat. Definitely. So um, like India said, let's look first at kind of the admin side of it on how you can help make that process for parents a little bit easier and being able to um, send parents that text message that lets them sign up. So I am gonna come right down here to settings. And remember this tab is only going to be available um, to those people that have admin rights to PBIS rewards. Um, for most staff members, they won't see this um, option at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and select settings. And then once the settings comes up, um, we are going to go to options. My computer's really thinking today, sorry. So um, once we're here, then um, I am going to go right here to this tab that says options. My computer is really wanting to be in the slow lane of everything happening today. Oh goodness. You're so welcome, Sarah. Thanks. Okay, and so as you can see, we're having a little bit of an issue with some of the um, yeah. connectivity issue right now. Yet where Anna is as she's you know getting that together is she went in and it has to be someone that has admin permissions to be able to set this up, okay? Um, yes, and there is a record of messages sent between the staff and parents. Yes, there is a record of that. Good question, Sarah. And so um, once you are in someone's account that has those admin permissions, they would then click on settings. If you're someone that doesn't have those permissions, you won't even have the settings button. But you'll click on settings and then you click on options, okay? But then options, you then will see the option to turn that messaging on or off. You also will see the option to be able to um, decide whether or not you also want to have the option of being able to send that via text, okay? Yeah, so this is really what that um, looks like. And so you can um, allow your staff to message parents. So that's an option. Our system will default to allow that. Well, that's not the right share. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, everybody. How about I do the right thing? Okay, so um, there are the two options. If you're going to um, allow staff to share messages or um, to not send messages, so it will default, like I said, to allow that. And then the other option here in parent messaging 
um, is about texting parents that information that gets them signed up through the parent app. So um, that's what that would look like there in the options uh, tab in the settings. All righty. Anna, do you want to see if it'll still, you know, sometimes we've been having these connectivity issues going back and forth from the settings to the yeah. actual home page. Do you want to see if we're still able to kind of show them where to get those letters? If not, I can get things pulled up on my end. Yes, I think. Let me try one more time. Here we go. But I love that we have this slide here for you to be able to see exactly where you go in those settings to be able to. Oh, there you go, Anna. Now, now it's showing up. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, so back in those settings, I'm just going to scroll down here, um, down to our parent messaging, and there are those two options. Perfect. So make sure whenever you make those changes that you always click that save button down there at the right hand corner. I know we make that mistake sometimes forgetting to click that, but please make sure you click that so that it, the system updates itself. All right, and then let's talk about sending those parent letters. I'm going to come right back over here to that parent link. And this is an option that um, staff members will have. Uh, it's not just administrators. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And so for our parents, when we get started, I'm gonna come over here to manage parents. And here I can um, get those options if I wanna edit that goes out to parents. Um, you can see there are some parts of the letter that are fixed and then these open text boxes, that's where you can type in additional information that just pertains to your school. Um, if you wanna type about how you're utilizing PBIS rewards at your school, um, there's a couple of um, boxes here that you can do that. Um, and then this is the QR code that parents will have personalized just for their student or students that they have that they can easily scan and give them access in that parent app. And those changes can be made, of course, click that save button. And our letter is available in English and Spanish. Um, you're welcome to email the letter. Um, if you're a ClassLink or Clever school that you sync with us, it will pull over all those parent emails for you. Um, it'll also pull over parent contact numbers. So if you decide to allow that text message to send that to parents, um, it'll pull that for you. So that's really nice. And you can see that our students that are here, um, we could select everybody to send that to them. And it even tells you if their email is listed here and if they have had an email sent to them. So that's a nice feature in our system and if the app has been installed by the parent. So um, that you know as either a staff member or an administrator what that parent status is. Um, but you can um, select that and um, you can send that digitally to those parents through email or text message um, for them or you can print out that letter and that can be um, sent home to students as well. So that's the, all those things are options. If you wanted to search for a specific student, you can see that box is gonna be right here in the center. All right, um, I see there's a couple of questions over here in the chat. Um, so you had a question there, you had already answered that about record of um, messages sent. And then once parents have their app set up, can they initiate messages to teachers or they can only respond? So, um, India, I don't know about that. Yes. They, they may initiate that. messages to, to mm -hmm. the uh, teachers. They may initiate them as well. They may also respond. Um, and so it's like we said, you know, there's many schools like my, one of my students, my child's school, they use literally four different apps to take care of everything they take care of for the students that I basically was like, they could do all of this in PBIS Rewards, including this messaging piece. Yeah, and so that's kind of a great question too. If your staff member wants to initiate a message, they could do that right here in um, that parent link to send a new message. And then you can see if you just want to send to a single student, you can do that here or to a group. And it gives you the option to search for a group. Um, I'm trying to remember if what group I have in this school. Ooh, it's been a while since I've been in this one. So, um, but you can send that to a group and then you can uh, send that message here. And then once all this is completed, then um, 
let me pick a student here. Then I have that information. You can see now that that send button has lit up, that it's an option now for me to send. Before I had that information there, it wasn't an option. And then right next to that is where I can attach something. And so for the parent, it appears in our parent app. And as Anna was saying as well before, you know, you do have to have your parent information into PBIS Rewards in order to utilize this messaging piece. So whether you use, you know, something like Clever or ClassLink to help you get that information into mm -hmm. the system, that's fine. You can put it in manually. That's what's also wonderful about being able to text this information for them to gain access to the parent app because you may not have an email for them, but you may have a phone number. So you will need to put that contact information for the family members into PBIS Rewards, and then you'll be able to get these things started for them, okay? The great thing is though, um, I love the letter because you can print it off, give it to them in a parent meeting, you can email them that with the link, or you could ask lecture, like we said, you could text it to them as well through a phone. Um, so it's just pretty easy to get them access to this app, um, with, which will give them so much great information. Yes, and those, um, I know um, we've had lots of people that have been to our other trainings. Um, we have a saying that we say all the time that if you stay in the loop, stay in the groups. And so please don't forget too that this is something that you could also do in groups. Um, our staff members can send a message from groups. So I'm just gonna select one of my groups here. And so there is that same option to message my students right here from groups. So that's why we have that saying is because you can do that right here. Um, let me select my students. If I wanna send that to everybody and I can start that process right there from the groups tab as well. So um, that's a great option for you. And because we know most staff members, this is where they're going to be during the day. So um, a great way to be able to do that too. And um, we're gonna show you in just a second the um, on your staff app that you have for PBIS rewards, you can start a message right there in the palm of your hand. You know, if you're on the go, you're out at recess, you're in the cafeteria, wherever you are, you could send a parent message that same way. And so actually, Anna, I know that we did add a little um, short video today um, uh -huh. I just didn't know if you wanted us to kind of go quickly live and show it live from our phone. I can go in and show my phone if you want, if we want to do that. I do also have a short video that we've added here that kind of shows more of the parent view and not so much the staff view of doing that messaging, but we can quickly show on our phone both if you'd like to see that. Um, so which way do you think we want to go today, Anna? Yeah, if you can share your phone, that would be great. Oh, I don't- um... Absolutely. I don't know that I have an auth code signed in on mine. Okay, great. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing if you're okay with that, Anna. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Yeah. Let me make sure I got my sound on here. And like we said, thanks everybody for your patience. We are planning on finishing up in just a few moments here. Um, and so we may, if we're a little over, we understand if you have to leave, but we are planning on wrapping up in the next few moments. We just wanted to show you quickly some of the things that you can do here. Um, I wanna make sure that you can see this. Okay. Let me know with the thumbs up or a yes, I'm in, I see it when we see it, okay? Can you all see my phone okay? There it goes, yep. Okay, great. So I wanted to show you all quickly, here's our, uh, our three different kind of suite of the apps. We have a staff app, the first one, the second one is the student app with the little uh, cap there. And then you see the parent one there with the parents. But if I was to go right in here and open up the staff one, you see here all of those options we talked about. You would click here on the messages and you can see this is an admin one. So I have the option to send messages to the school. You can also see here that I could click on parent. I could start a new message here. I could send it to a single student. I could send it to a group. Um, I could go in here, find the parent. Um, I could send, so find the student. I could send a message to the parent. This is the mom, Lori Barrett there. Um, I'm just gonna send a quick one, thanks. I could send an attachment here if I wanted to with the 
uh, paper clip. I could click on send and that message has been sent, okay? So then I also wanna show you here as far as the parents are concerned, I'm gonna get out of that and I'm gonna go now to the parent app here. And you can see here, so we've got Lou right there. So I could actually, first of all, the parent needed to see what PBS Rewards is. They could click here, um, signing out here. If they needed to add another one of their children, they would hit the plus sign. If they needed to remove a student, they would click the minus sign. You can see here that they already have a notification that there's new information regarding this child of theirs, Lou. So if they click on Lou's icon here, they can now see all of Lou's information. They can see Lou's balance. They can see all of the points that have been given in these different time periods. You can expand all of this information if you'd like to be able to look at all of it. You can see that we can see point details. We can also see major and minor referral information, purchases that have been made, upcoming events, any events that they've been registered for, as well as um, a list of teachers that they have. Now you can see down here that a parent can also help their child be connected to the student app if they needed to give them an authorization code, okay? So if we come back up here though, we see that they do have two new messages. So they would just open up messages. You can see here that there's uh, different ones and it says new for the ones that are new messages that they um, haven't read yet. So you can see the one that I just sent that was thanks. If they wanted to, they could put an attachment here and they could say whatever, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> but they can send one back as well by simply clicking on the send. You can see that it has that text message look and feel to it. Clicking that back arrow gets them back. Once again, we can see here that Anna, thanks for your help with the party today. Okay, that was sent today. So there's that timestamp, date stamp, all of that. So we just want to give you a quick look at kind of how that messaging piece goes back and forth from the staff with the staff app and then also to the parent or caregiver with the parent app. So Anna, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. If you wanna go ahead and start sharing again, and we're gonna to get to the wrap up. Absolutely. Oh. And then um, Sarah has a question. Um, can you attach photos of the message? Absolutely. So um, you know, that paper clip. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, as a, a class administrator, I thought how many times we have like something that happened at school and I was like oh I'll be happy to take a picture of that and send that right to a Home, parent or homework assignments they don't they can't do yeah. their homework they don't have it boom now they do I just sent it to you yes 100 percent okay great thanks India absolutely so we also just want to wrap up and just you know if you've forgotten anything if you don't know what to do if you're like oh, what did Anna say what did India say Anna how can they support themselves um, please utilize our show me how button it's at the bottom of every page and so once you click that it'll bring options up for you to look at the different topics that are there or you can a specific topic that you're looking for and we will walk you through that click by click so if you can't remember how to send a parent message type that in there and then we will tell you click here on parent link and then click here. So um, it's sometimes a lot to remember, and this is a great shortcut to um, utilize for yourself and also for other staff members so they don't also have to ask you every time they have a question. Um, but we also have what we call the panic button up at the top. If you want more help from us at PBIS Rewards, please feel free to click that um, help button. It will take you directly to our support site and um, we do have great news for you that we are just now unveiling our brand new support site for everybody. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sarah. <laughs> um, we are really hoping to make it easier to navigate. We've added so many more videos that are really short, maybe two or three minute videos to help um, making navigating PBIS rewards more efficient and easier to understand. So um, please visit our um, new support site. Um, it's got the same address. So up at the top, there are some easy links that are there that can get you started with different topics. Um, but our search feature that's right there in the center is really robust. And so you can enter the topic that you're looking for and it'll take you right to that or in the center, there are different options that are there that you can click on if you're just getting started or you want training. Um, all those kinds of things are going to be right there in the center of the page. 
So um, hopefully making that much easier to interact with. But at the bottom of the page, um, there is an option to chat with PBIS Rewards, and you can see um, our friend Jill that's there. She is one of our members of our support team, and they are phenomenal. They have so many ways to help with different things with support, and um, they help us on a daily basis troubleshoot different things. So um, please reach out to them, but there's also a phone number there, an email address, uh, besides um, talking with somebody live during the day. So thank you, Sarah. <laughs> We're super excited about it. <laughs> yes, we do agree. They're the best. They really are. All right. Indy, do you want to talk to us about the training calendar? Absolutely. You all, we're going to put this in the chat, but please, please, please thank you, Krista, so much. We do understand if you have to go, we are going to send you the recording. So no worries. And we are wrapping it up in seconds, but please go to our training calendar. Most of the session, there's a free like this particular one. You also can sign up for our office hours, which is 20 minutes with at least two trainers. Okay. Where you can talk about anything you want, PBIS, or PBIS reward. So please go to the calendar, sign up for some of our upcoming trainings and definitely please sign up for an office hour. Sure. And Sarah, we wanna ask you though, can you talk a little bit about that Facebook group? Just a tiny, <laughs> like, like four seconds. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. You're at home, you need an answer to something. It is 1.47 in the morning pop a question in there. There are people in every time zone. If they know they will help you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. And you Sarah's one of those people. And you get previews. <laughs> and you get previews. And I want to tell you, Sarah, she is a super, super, super family member. That's what we call her. All of our customers are our family. And she's one of those main people that helps us as an expert in the group. Thank you, Sarah. We love and appreciate you. 100%. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, so please join us there. And then we are going to put this link in the um, chat as well. Oh, no, I don't have it. I have the wrong one. India, you got it. Um, this is a link to our resource page. And so this has a link not only for this training today, but all of the free trainings that we've done. If you want the PowerPoints or a recording or the resources that we utilize, um, this is kind of the treasure trove of all of those different things. So please make sure um, you utilize this link. Let me see. And you got it. we may actually, because I think I have the old one too, with us doing all the new support site stuff, y'all. This link has changed a little bit. Anna, oh, it's the same. One. I checked it yesterday. Great. Don't okay. Worry. Anna's got the new one. Great. There, we so go. there you go. We're going to email this to you too. So no worries if you don't get to click on it now and bookmark it. We are going to email this link to you. So if you have a previous one, this one's the one that's definitely new and going to work for you with the new support site in 2022. So click on it, bookmark it. If not, we're going to email it. Yes. All right, and so we are right now at the finish line. Uh, we just want to thank you so much. There is a quick survey that's there. It's maybe six or seven questions, really short. Um, we would love to know what you thought today. If there's anything else that we could um, add to this next time, this is really our first time to do this information. So we would love some feedback from you. Our email address is right here. So please reach out to us at any time. Indy and I are the ones to answer that along with our two other trainers, Adam and Terrell. So we are excited to help you on your PBIS rewards journey. So thank you all for being here. Indy, I'm gonna kick it over to you. Thanks everybody. So if anyone has questions and wanna stay on, feel free to stay on after today's training, but look for that follow-up email with not only this recording link, any resources that we shared, including the Kit and Caboodle resource bit.ly link, but we also are going to give you a blank certificate for you to put your name and date on to be able to get PD credit for registering for today's training. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a sensational semester. See you at the next training. Yes, thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for hanging in there with us, everybody, especially with our technical difficulties. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.